Hello and welcome to Vanishing Point. Uh, this was a short mission made for a contest, so I'm not expecting it to be overly long. Um, as usual, I don't believe it has a briefing, so let's switch back to Notepad. I was minding my own business in the local alehouse when three seedy looking fellows hidden in the dark caught my attention. I crept on them during their conversation, and by carefully listening to them, I was able to piece together what might be a lucrative haul. The cellar of the old Vane Manor, located on the western edge of the Red Quarter, is, according to them, filled with all kinds of shiny trinkets and baubles ripe for the picking, including the decrepit Lady Vane's family treasure. They were planning a raid there in the following days, but I decided to trade away and lay my greedy paws on that treasure before them. I couldn't shake this ghastly feeling off, though, that I somehow knew these three men. Uh, alright, uh, difficulty level, pickpocket, thief, shadow. Well, let's see what objectives change before making a choice. Uh, break into the Vane Manor and make your way to the cellar where Lady Vane's family's treasure is supposedly located. The treasure in the cellar would be worth quite a lot, but it'd be good to find some more money along the way. 500 worth of valuables should make the point. Optional. Return to your rented flat when you're done. Alright, if I punch it up a little. Don't kill any innocents, um, a thousand worth of valuables. Fifteen hundred worth of valuables and don't kill anyone. Alright, I'm gonna go with hard, basically, what they're calling thief here, as you go. And uh, see so here we go on, a thousand worth of valuables, hopefully we won't have to hunt around too much, just from there's uh, at least fifteen hundred in the level. And it's an optional objective anyway, so if I can't find it I can just go home. Alright, let's go uh, vanish. Straight off. We are. I guess we've broken into the manor already. What do I have in terms of equipment? There's no shop. Seven broadheads, four water arrows, two moss arrows, no ropes. No ropes? Ah, three ropes. Okay. That's a bit better. Alright. Uh, someone's telling me this is my rented accommodation. Well, that explains why I've got all my thief equipment here, doesn't that? Flash bomb, potion, sword, blackjack, yeah. Can I take my lockpicks, picks, please? Thank you. Well, this makes a lot more sense that this is my rented accommodation, but uh, then I need to find a way out the doors. Do I have to pick the lock on my own door to get out? Um, or do I go out the window like a proper thief? So nobody knows when I come and go. I wouldn't waste all my water arrows on that torch, but that'd probably be silly. Uh, well, already I think I'm gonna have to throw a rope in there. Nice. Alrighty, now we're on the streets. Which way do we go from here? We don't have a map. I don't know where the manor is. What did the did it say? Well, there's something I think about the eastern side of town or west side of town. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, someone's broken my compass. Oh, that doesn't weird color anything. It makes it very hard to see which way is north. Well, at least it's not red. All right. I'm not sure I'm a fan of the color changes. It doesn't it looks. Hmm. Then it looks interesting. Fellow citizens, let it be known that a new ordinance, penned by our good sheriff, orders a curfew in the Red Quarter from the 8th toll of the burial until Coxcrow. This curfew is in effect until further notice. Special authorizations can be solicited for exceptional cases. Disobedience shall result in deportation to the jails for the night with repentance at dawn on the Red Plaza. Let it also be known that any information compromising. Uh, Compromising the criminal guild known as the Rats of Roxburgh is highly valuable and shall be rewarded in gold crowns. Let all know that Lord Durden, willing to find his familial pocket watch, and with the purpose of aiding the capture of the criminals responsible for the odious theft, has increased the reward to 1,000 gold coins, delivered to any individual with accurate information on the rogue's whereabouts. This sum is therefore added to the 500 gold crowns offered by the City Watch and the 300 gold crowns offered by Lady Dargento thus bringing the total sum to 1,800 gold crowns. Lastly written and approved, Lionel Frontenstrock, Red Quarters Alderman. Well, I didn't know I would uh, offer an extra reward for these criminals, but you know, I 
It says it in there in black and white. You know what that guy's about. I'm gonna check out this alleyway before I go any further that way. Can I read those? I can't. Hello, sir. Don't mind me. Oh, it's very bright there. Okay, I keep getting stuck on stuff. This edges. Whoop. God, you weren't supposed to see me. I was just checking to see which way you're going. Leave me alone. Yeah, you'll get me, will ya? I bet you don't even know where I live. Oh, wait. Oh, there's a guy that comes that way, too. Oh, he's still there waiting for me. Alright, alright. Yeah, 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 yeah. I better wait and, uh, for him to calm down. And that's why you keep the door locked at all times, uh, says the Twitch chat there. Yes. He was just there! He climbed up a rope and vanished into that building. What if I don't want to come back out there? Yeah. Well, this is uh, un rather unexciting when he can come down out there. Oh, I think he's gone. I hope he's gone. Hear somebody else sniffing about. Walking away from me there. Oop. There's metal flooring. It's very hard for me to see which is where it's dark and where isn't it. Something is very different about the lighting here and everything. I guess that's why I've got a light gem, but he's watching this way. I want to go that way. Turn around, sir. I don't mean come here. Yeah, there's more guards, two of them there. Oh, he's got money. I want it. He's got a friend. I don't want his friend. Maybe his friend isn't gonna bother me much. <sighs> yourself. Is he coming back? I don't know. Suddenly stop muttering halfway through a sentence. Oh, here he comes. Hopefully, he doesn't notice me here. Well, there's his money. Another problem with all these uh, new textures rather than the traditional ones, I have no idea what's wood. And what's not in terms of uh, rope power attachments. I guess that's. I wonder if we can get up there. Didn't sound like rest this time. No, it didn't. Uh, yeah, I think my arrow stuck in there, didn't it? Yes. Oh, hello. Thought I saw. No, something. no, no. You saw nothing. Stay alert. Pep talks get the best of me. Yeah, you best not best not listen to those pep talks. What a bad idea. I really should use a rope arrow there. Uh, water arrow rather. Listen, this is no good. Yeah. Save in case I uh, miss the shot and waste an arrow because I don't like wasting them.
Can I get up there? No, I don't think I can. They're gonna see me, aren't they? There's nothing. Probably just the wind. It was just rats and the wind. Rats breaking wind. Uh, there's no. I was gonna say there's an open window. No, there's a light shining. There might be something up there. Suggestion that I might be able to climb the barrel and jump on the roof, but it's difficult, and it the eaves overhang. I think yeah, which makes it very hard to mantle. Hmm. Why did I fire a repair up there? What's the point? What's the point of it? Don't know. I didn't even see anything up there to go for. Just like oh, I can stick an. Uh, it looks like I can stick an arrow in there, so I should try. Something there. Oh, there's nothing there. Well, at least these guys nothing now. aren't very alert. Not again. Whoops. That was more metal than I wanted. Well, yeah. Go bleach my bones. Oh, I still see him see me there, alright. Better wait for him to lose me. At least allow him to lose me. Oh, they won't get me. One way or another, I'll find you. You will be brought to justice, criminal. Will I? Not if you're the one trying to do the bringing. Drop your weapons. Uh these are lockpicks, not weapons. Sorry to break it to you. Uh you can't hide forever. Alright, I heard a door open. I heard a door open and thought maybe they'd suddenly found a path down here and I was in trouble, but you no, know, it just seems there must be something else here. Well, it does sound like there's a guard down here, as well as a bunch of rats. I can't tell if it's the one outside. If there's someone down here I'm hearing, or the one outside. Ah, oh, they must be upstairs, alright. What have we got down here in the water? There's a lot of water arrows floating around in these various pools of water. These crystals are growing everywhere. Is that a chest? No. Oh, there's somebody walking around up there. Probably a guard. Hmm. Strange noises. No. It's not very strange. I hear them all the time. It's just lockpicks. <laughs> Nothing suspicious. Dum-dum. Alright, let's use one of these water arrows. I've got ton tons of them now. Make it a little safer for myself. Oh, pfft. Well, that did it. was a fat lot of use. I mean, it was actually kind of useful, but that's the door he comes in and out of. Who goes there? There's no one! That noise. Yeah! I'll teach me to stand in front of a door. That's right, you just go about your business. Don't see me. There's, there's at least another guard around as well. I think you're gonna get a knock on the head. You're uh, the first one on the mission. Lucky you. Oh, 
Oh. And you can sleep over here. All right. I can't see anything. Is that valuable? It is. This reminds me why I don't play with oh, flash bomb. I don't play with high res texture packs because everything looks different, and I can't recognize anything anymore in this visual noise everywhere. So someone lives through there. Just more water. Yeah, I'm gonna need a key for that. For this one. Did I thought I heard a? Yeah. Oh, there's there's one there. Servant. Sleep. Well, I'll take some bread. Anything in the sink? Just some, uh, whoops. Unvaluable dishes. Did I accidentally pick something up and throw it there? Or did I accidentally just lean into something by pressing the wrong key? I don't know. More water arrows and a bowl of apples. There's a valuable plate. I'll take the food. Boys, yes I know the cellar does make strange sounds from time to time, and yes, the family crypts will be on the door. But you need not worry. This cellar is an easy access for rogues though, so this is why I want it guarded at all times. The house is a prime target for knaves, especially with the lady's sickness. Do your job, hack in the intruders, and don't let me down. Captain Nathan. Well, it seems I have stumbled across the house that I'm supposed to rob without realising it. So, uh, it's not a bad thing, I guess. Don't know how much more money I could find on the city streets, but, um, let's just wait for them to move on. That's a, looks like a hefty door, but it's not blocking the sound much, so. Someday he's not even going to be a guard anymore. And what are you going to do after you sneak up on them? Well, one nice thing here is this uh, guard, or well, this rich person, their yeah, house seems to be wooden floors there. Oh dear. Well, not entirely. He's coming back. I think he's also going to get the uh, blackjack. Otherwise, I don't know how I'm going to sneak past him effectively. It's very, very tight spaces. <coughs> I'll teach you to turn your back on uh, the cellars and the kitchens. <coughs> Sleep there. All right. We got upstairs. Wait, the crypts are next door to the cellar, so that must be what the locked door was. That needs a key, okay. So somewhere, ooh, loot, somewhere there's going to be a key to the crypts. Noisy floor, but can I hear anybody? I can't. Valuable carrots. More importantly, valuable plates. How are we doing for loot? 438. We need a thousand, so we're almost halfway there, just from crockery. Uh, oh, we've got to find the family treasure in the cellar as well. That's going to be down in the crypt, isn't it? So we're definitely going to need that. That crypt key. Oh no, it's through here. Oh, the streets. And uh, a statue. Hmm. Some pipe work. I wonder if it was possible to get in here. Well, there's a roof. Certainly possible to get out. Okay. 
We'll have to come back that way, perhaps. That's what the south end of the mansion. Hello, you look valuable. Nothing behind the door? Okay, let's try the other door here. Noisy floors. Is that footsteps I heard? I don't hear nothing now. Must have been the wind. Locked. Uh, must have been the wind. Or our friendly guard fellow there. Hello, would you like to meet my blackjack? It's a very nice blackjack. It wants to be your friend. You need a rest. You're overworked. Hey, what do we got here? All that door to open in my face. Ooh, sudden change in ambiance, but uh. No new footsteps. We have a library. Very tall. With enormous statues. Valuable loot. Less valuable books. Ah, can't, probably can't read anyway. Well, except all those papyruses and stuff that he actually does have to read, but you know. What do we got this way? No, not flash bomb. That's what I needed. More carrots! I'm doing pretty well on the uh, food front. Oh, there's a key to the crypts. Dear Emil, your last letter relieved me for a time, but this ghastly manner has shattered my nerves. Alas, the lady is succumbing to il her illness and she sinks deeper into madness every day. Why did it have to reflect my good mistress? We cannot predict her behaviour and, Builder save me, the horrors she whispers through the chamber door are enough to make you run screaming. She always had a fragile health and her advanced age did not make things easier. But she had a sharp mind like none other. Bernard asked around, and it appears her case is not isolated. Word is Lord Nemez suffers from a similar sickness and even set fire to his house in a bout of insanity. The lady is locked in her chambers for safety, as neither Edmund nor I want to see this noble house reduced to ashes. I am so frightened. What is happening? Danielle. Well. That's a really good question. Oh, we've got a healing potion. Two now. And we got a ring, I'll take that. Ah, cool, I'll check. Alright, so I've been there, I'll leave the door open to remind me. This must be the way to the good lady's chambers. She has a Victrola, which does not have a record. I always pick up my mirrors, they're never valuable. Fireplace. Nice pillows. Sign on the door. Scroll I can't read. More loot. Alright, we're at 913. We're almost at our total. To the household staff. Access to the ladies' quarters is restricted. Only her ladyship's relatives and the housekeeper may enter. Well, I guess I'm neither because I can't even prop the door. I've got the key to the crypts, uh, so I guess I just need to go to the crypts and find out what's going on down there. Which way is it? This way. Yeah. Key to the crypts. Lots of food. That's a ton of food. Garrett can eat for a week. Hear anything in the crypts? I do hear a voice. I don't know that I like it. Uh oh. That can't be good. I really don't think it can be good. How can anyone be this foolish? Did you really believe you would find shiny tins and bits down there? This was the last time you double crossed us. We do not forgive and we do not forget. Let this punishment be the last ordeal of your miserable life. Your three friends. Hmm. 
The treasure was a trap. For now, survival is your only task. You have to find a way out of these vaults. Curses. What was that? I'm hearing odd sniffing noises. Uh, I'm not sure I like the sound of this. Oh, I can't put that out either. Hmm. Bit of a door. Well, at least I'm getting money. What am I hearing there? I don't know, but the noises are weird, and I don't know which direction they're coming from. That's a blind corner with lots of light. I don't like it. Hmm. I don't like spooky. Well, I can put that one out at least. Better. A little. Kinda of happy if I knew what I was dealing with here. Well, whatever it is, it seems like there's more than one other thing. Can't see a thing. Yeah, lighted candle that won't go out. Well, I'm hearing noises everywhere, but not seeing anything. That's even spookier. There's a lever there. Did I get it? This way up. Uh, not that. All right. Uh, let's quickly get out of here. Because I don't want to know what thing is down there. I don't want to meet it. Uh, there's a mushroom I can throw. All right, we uh, got out of the vaults. Mission complete! Uh, I missed a thousand and thirty loot. And I didn't kill any... anything at all. Not even the invisible monster, whatever it was, in the cellar that, uh, my three friends wanted to look me up with. I'm curious now as to what, uh, what was going on there. Uh, that was vanishing point. And, um, it's only been half an hour, so you know what? I'm going to satisfy my curiosity. I'm going to go back and see if I can find out what, what it was here. I'm going to be reckless. Is there actually anything here, or is I just running from my own nerves? See, there's the... There's a snuffling. Footsteps. Running back and forth. That 
it's uh doesn't actually appear to be anything that would actually hurt me, just spooky noises. <clears throat> oh no, there is something that hurts me. It's just invisible. Alright. Good to know. Good to know. Alright. That was Vanishing Point. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next mission.